Mola, my dear. Don't lie. Tell me about the wreck ghouls. I'm just a xenozoologist. I've told you everything. Excuse me, sir. Busy breaking another prisoner. I'm Melkor Din, chief interrogator. Lord Gravis told me you'd come to stop the Republic and our rack ghoul threat. All who oppose the Empire will fall by my hand. You're the first Imperial I've seen who's eager to go after the rack ghouls. Those vicious mutants swarm the sewers, tearing apart everything and anyone that gets in their way. Serves you right. Sith created the Rackles to begin with. Mola's tongue is too free. But she's correct. An ancient Sith engineered the plague to turn humans into Ragghouls, then unleashed it on Taris. The disease survived the planet's destruction. Now Ragghouls run rampant, and the Republic's herding them against us. There must be some way to turn the Ragghouls against the Republic. That's what we've been working on. Mola's been kind enough to tell us about a reactor the Republic's decommissioning. She claims they direct the Ragghouls by releasing trace amounts of toxic waste from the reactor core. This sends the enraged beasts running for safety right into Imperial territory. It's true. I saw their aversion to reactor leakage when I studied Ragghoul migration patterns. Exposure produced adverse effects. How do we drive them off? I wouldn't want to suppose before carrying out the proper tests. This isn't academic research. Take your best guess, or it will be your last. During the studies we performed, radiator leakage drove them mad. Poison the Rackles, and they'll turn on everyone. You, us, each other. Perfect. We blow up the chemical stashes, poison the lot. The Rackles will be too busy feasting on Republic flesh to run our way. It's time the Republic faces Taris' monsters. I coated the sewers in chemicals. The rack ghouls didn't look happy. Hear that, Mola? The rack ghouls will mangle your beloved Republic, and the reactor waste will soak the ground, making your cleanup impossible. Lord Gravis was right about you. The sewers will soon cease to be a threat. Swallow your praise, Melkor. This one's an Imperial lackey. Come to steal credit for Sith victory. Come to bask in my power again. I'd as soon bury you as look at you. That's enough! Thana, I trust you've come to do more than spark a fight. Watch your tone. I'm not on Darth Gravis's leash anymore. While you poisoned the sewers, I was busy slaughtering rat ghouls. One of them hit back without touching me. It was using the Force. Sorcery's no match for a good sidearm. We shouldn't underestimate them. Mola, what do you know about these things? They're called neck ghouls. They're sentient, proficient with the Force. A whole colony of them lives in the rundown reactor. You know the penalty for lying, Mola. It's true. Master Sulan's with the neck ghouls now, teaching them the ways of the light side. Sulan. I know the name. Idealistic Jedi. Powerful. But foolish. 
If he raises these neck rules against us, we could have trouble. Sulan will not interfere with the Empire's plans. Good. Look for him in this reactor Mola mentioned. If he's there, remove him. Don't send a worm to do a Sith's job. First one to overload the reactor core gets to watch the neck rules fry. Don't let Thana have all the fun. security to your location. Consider it a fun challenge between friends. This should be interesting. Enjoy yourself. You won't be around much longer. sent more droids your way back my students remember your teachings you're surrounded by enemies and deception i can offer an alternative to imperial servitude you can't be serious i wouldn't have said anything if you didn't have potential like you these neck ghouls were confused angry destructive now i heal them with the force and guide them towards the light side School's out, Jedi. Your pupils are done for. I can't let you interrupt their education. Come, my students. Show them what you've learned. Such strength. You could have served the galaxy brilliantly. What are you waiting for? Overload the reactor. Let's toast this place and kill these freaks. Say goodbye to your pets, Sulan. I was close to those monsters. Let's hope he shared their pain. Though he'd have died quicker and messier if you'd left him to me. You think a lot of yourself. I just call it like I see it. Terra still crawls with Republic scum and my lightsaber's itching for their throats. Don't even think about following me. The Jedi's dead, along with his neck ghoul colony. Darth Gravis said you were ruthless. Without their neck ghoul pets, the Republic is weak and defenseless. Just doing my job. We always need such loyalty on Talis. General Farin's leading our battle against the best of the Cathar settlers. They've dug in near the wreckage of a crashed Republic cruiser, the Endar Spire. Help General Farin against the Cathar, crush them, and we can finally strike at the Republic's base. <laughs> 